Last night was so erotic. Huh? Huh? That's vague. What? Oh, God. So, um, today we're going to be talking about when someone is really vague when they're talking to you. This is to everyone, but specifically it's even worse when it's coming from a female. Uh, someone like uh, your father or mother or a girlfriend or a brother. Yeah. Don't touch me. Well, what we're talking about when we say vague is when someone speaks to you but leaves you kind of hanging. It's a cliffhanger. You don't quite know what they're talking about so or, or what they're insinuating. And you might not want to know. Yeah. Because I really don't know how your night was er erotic. I could fill you in. Oh, God. Ugh. Disgusting. This mostly started off because a few days ago, my girlfriend said she was going to Shoppers Drug Mart and then just stopped. Just stopped talking about it. And I went to Shoppers Drug Mart, too. Uh. Being a horny male, I assume the worst. What do you assume? You know. Wait, I don't get it. That's the point. Fill me in. No. Can you please? No. Please? No. That's so fake. You're not my girlfriend. Can I be? Uh, it's annoying, but it's also confusing. But it can be funny. Especially if you kind of bring it up with the person. It's not done intentionally, I don't think, but a lot of people do do it just because they don't... Either they don't want to tell you what they did, or they just feel like telling you at this point in time wouldn't be right. Or they're just, just ending their sentence for some odd reason. Yeah. A lot of people do it though. It happens a lot and sometimes it, if you're dirty minded or you have a wicked sense of humor, their statements can become pretty awkward, which might not be good. Especially if it's a girlfriend. Then she might ask questions and you might be like, in an awkward situation. But it happens. It really does. I don't think it'd be awkward. Yeah. What are some other examples of vague sentences that don't lead to dirty things? No, dirty ones are fine. You don't know how good a belt feels what? around your waist. Yeah, but you had to fill that one in because you were afraid people would think like... Mm -hmm. That's the point. I could have just left it and it would have been very vague. So now you're changing it into a joke. Yeah, so vague comments can also be jokes. By slowing down and then filling in the blank, but leaving enough time for someone to assume the worst. Something bad. I had a lot of fun with that dog. Ew. She got down on her knees to clean the floor. See? It does get awkward. Because we it. all know what you guys were thinking. Well, me and my mother had a lot of fun. In the bedroom. Cleaning the shades. We don't have shades in the bedroom. As you see, these examples <laughs> can be quite awkward, funny, and a good joke. Once I saw how big his tennis racket was, I knew he was a good player. Why are you playing with men? She did a good job with her rack. It. That's just not pretty at all. <laughs> that makes no sense. You can... <laughs> Whatever. Still works. But anyways, these vague comments make good jokes and awkward conversations. So, like, comment, and subscribe. Be cool, be kind, be crazy.